What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. So I'm very excited today. Uh, as you could tell from the title, in the next 10 minutes or so, uh, they will be picking up the Avalon TRD and be dropping off a 2020 TRD Pro Sequoia, which if you've been around the channel a while, you know I absolutely love this thing. I can't wait to drive it. I've driven a Sequoia before, never a TRD Pro Sequoia. And the reason I like it so much is because it's pretty much a Tundra SUV. There is a ton of Tundra DNA in this vehicle. More like an 07 to 13 Tundra. The front end, the engine, the six speed transmission, uh, the dash, the, everything on the interior has so much 07 to 13 Tundra in it. And the 07 to 13 Tundra had a lot more realistic stuff going on than what we get in the 14 and up as far as storage. Little things here and there that we will go over. I warn you before we do this review, I'm gonna do it kind of backwards than usual. I do the first impressions drive right away usually, and then I do the walk around. Well, I'm gonna film both today, but right now you're gonna see the walk around because there's no wind, or there's not that much wind, so I wanna get that out of the way. And then tomorrow we will do the first drive video. Um, but going forward, I want you to know you will hear a lot of comparisons to the Tundra. This is a Tundra channel, and this is pretty much like I just said, like a Tundra SUV. So you will be hearing a lot of comparisons to the Tundra uh, as far as how the vehicle feels with the 5.7. Same engine, same transmission, so I want to see the difference in feel. Um, the TRD Pro package, again, it shares a lot from the Tundra. Same wheel and tire package, same Fox suspension, uh, a lot of the same thing. So I want to do a lot of comparisons that way. So enjoy, check it out. We're going to do the walk around. I can't wait to see this thing. And then tomorrow, come on back because we're going to do the first drive video. Comment below, let me know what you think. All right, here we are, Mag Gray 2020 TRD Pro Sequoia. As always, sorry about the potential wind noise. So this is as close as you're going to get to a Tundra without being in a Tundra. 5.7 liter V8, six-speed transmission just like the Tundra. The old 07 to 13 nose and front end inside the truck. We'll get there momentarily. You will see that uh, it has the 07 to 13 uh, dash. The gauge cluster is a little bit different. They did do some upgrades. There are LEDs now and whatnot, but the overall question of this week with this truck will be, is the TRD Pro package something that should be on this? And I say, why not? Right off the bat, I say, why not? Why not give the Sequoia a little bit of a mean look? Rigid industry fog lights, the same wheel and tire package that is on the Tundra TRD Pro. Sweet side steps. Oh, it's got like that Line-X feel to it. TRD Pro badging, everything's blacked out, just like the uh, normal TRD Pro stuff. If you could see in there, I don't know if you can see, let's get in here. We got the TRD Pro suspension, Fox suspension, Toyota grill. This has Toyota Safety Sense. That is where it is on here, right down here under the grill. On the TRD Pro Tundra, it's right here, but it's down there on this. This has the sensors and the blind spot uh, monitoring that I always complain that I wish the TRD Pro Tundra had. Look at the size of this thing. It's got one of these great roof racks. This, not the same one, but the same idea comes on the 4Runner. And while we're talking about the 4Runner, I don't know how good the camera will do this justice, but look at the size difference. 4Runner, Sequoia. It's kind of like a medium fry, super size fry. This thing is giant, looks good, heavy as can be. I don't think it has, a dual exhaust that's the one thing no dual exhaust i think it just has the regular sequoia exhaust so i don't know if the noise will be there blacked out emblems like we said this comes all the way down i think we're gonna check that out this truck literally arrived minutes ago i grabbed my camera and here we are so that's the outside of it very nice looking truck i don't know how, what you guys feel about this practicality wise this is going to be for a big family um, as you'll see when we go in actually let's start with the let's start with the trunk and then we'll work our way forward so you can see what we got going on here unlock so you got a massive massive trunk space here okay but what you also have is a third row under here and it's automatic left and right so when i hit the left button and obviously you'd have to take this rug up for this to go all the way but see it comes all the way up We'll see what we have. We'll put them both up. I see some TRD Pro stitching there. So that is a good sign. Okay, and then we'll put the right one up as well. So that's cool. Instead of having to go back there and do it by hand, they make it a little bit easier nowadays. And I like the fact that for the third row, 
you still get the stitching. So let's go around and check this out. So then your trunk space though, you still get enough for groceries and whatnot here. It's not that big of a deal. Big door, big old door. Now, the door on the Forerunner up there is pretty heavy when you're shutting this, or excuse me, when you're shutting it. I'm sure this is massive. I think this is an automatic, yeah, automatic door, cool. All right, now to the back seat. Okay, cool. So you get, all right, so you get some captain's chairs here. That's pretty cool for sitting up this way. We'll try out momentarily. And then like we just said, you even get yourself little floor mats here for the third row. And if you don't need the third row, that thing could just stay down and you have a massive trunk. But back here you get vents. Here you get, see this is cool. This is what they need in the Tundra, in my opinion. Uh, you get basically your own climate control back here, so that's pretty neat. Looks like some cup holders on the floor there. Not bad at all. Let's see how these are. Yeah. All right, they're comfortable. They're good. They just chill. I mean, if I had a big family, one thing I would definitely do for a vehicle like this is I would get some video screens or something for the kids back here, or maybe a middle one right in the right in the center. But as far as comfort, um, yeah, they're nice and comfortable. Uh, you can adjust the seats a little bit, it looks like, to go back. What you'd expect if you're going to pay this kind of... That was... I almost fell off the chair there. Uh, what you'd expect if you're going to pay this kind of a price point, this is $66,000, this truck. And I was afraid it was going to be a Sequoia with the TRD Pro package and no options because I was just afraid it wasn't going to have like what the Platinum might have or the Limited. I believe it's called the Limited uh, in the Sequoia, which I test drove last year. That was fully loaded, but this has a lot of great stuff in it. It doesn't have the perforated leather. It has that same kind of leather that's in the TRD Pro Tundra. As far as the cup holders go, I mean, it's a little low. It kind of sits on the floor when you open it, but it really is no big deal. All right, so we move up to the front of the vehicle, and for you 07 to 13 Tundra owners, past and present, this will look very similar to you because there still is a lot of styling cues from the 07 to 13 Tundras, things that went away on the 14 and up Tundra that are still here on this, I do miss very much. TRD, I'm gonna say TRD Pro Tundra 50 times when I mean Sequoia, but TRD Pro Sequoia floor mats, same idea as the Tundra ones. The seats are very similar to the Tundra, although on the Tundra it says TRD Pro here. This says TRD Pro on the headrest, which you can let me know what you think about that if it matters to you, where it says TRD Pro at all. One thing that's gonna be cool, JBL Synthesis sound system, which is also in the Land Cruiser, is amazing. So here we go. Uh, this is what we're dealing with now. So like I said, a lot of 07 to 13 here. 07 to 13, you get two for the Tundra, right? I love it. I do miss a lot of the interior of the 07 to 13. Um, one thing I'm going to call out right away, mind you, this is the first time I'm sitting in it. I don't mind this setup so much. That's fine. Climate control is what it is. Uh, you get, uh, you know, your heated seats and whatnot. This kind of bothers me. In, in a truck that's $66,000 uh, at least, uh, this screen just seems kind of tiny. I don't know. I would have upgraded this to what's in all of the other uh, TRD Pro models now, which is a bigger screen. Now, this might be the same size. It just looks like the setup is a little dated. It's push button start, so we're going to hit this thing, and we're going to see what it looks like when it comes on. Uh, you know, but overall, the interior, I love how everything is blacked out in this. That is one thing we talk about all the time. The Tundra has a lot of silver in it. Uh, this is all blacked out on the inside. Continue. Make sure the volume's all the way down. Volume controls. Very tiny. Everything here just it looks a little bit tiny, uh, but overall it's the Entune 3.0. It looks like still same setup. It just it might just be an optical illusion, but the screen definitely looks a lot smaller than what is in the Forerunner and the Tundra that I have in my driveway. Other than this, uh, dual climate control. You can do your uh, rear seat passengers. If you turn that on there, uh, you can control it here or you can tr control it in the rear like we just looked at. So we'll turn that off for now. Uh, this is the new gauge cluster, the new setup, if you will. Um, so it has Toyota Safety Sense. So all the Toyota Safety Sense vehicle kind of had that same little interior section there. Um, blind spot monitoring, like I said, rear cross traffic alert is on. And if we toggle through, it's the same stuff we're always toggling through. 
uh, in all these Toyota vehicles we check out nowadays. So it's the same idea. Let me know what you think about this gauge cluster. Uh, if you remember the old 07 to 13 gauge cluster, it kind of had, this is like a little bit of the old school there. Everything was kind of down in little tunnels. So I like this a little bit better. Uh, it definitely has enough coverage so you won't get any sun glare or anything. So I definitely dig that. As far as the interior goes overall, it's a nice interior. Slightly, slightly dated, nothing to go crazy about, nothing to write home about. Um, as far as like it just looks way outdated I'm just not a big fan of this screen so that is one thing we need to work on it has a sunroof of course it has the same uh, mirror as you see in the tundra you know where you have your, your home links and whatnot here and it's automatic as far as dimming side mirror same as the tundra and look what they have 07 to 13 boys there you go your grab handle that is not in the 14 and up tundras now so there you have it that is the interior let me know what you think now actually before we take this test drive i do want to call out one more thing so in the tundra we always talk about we have glare around the cup holders we have glare because of the chrome they have down here around the shifter it looks like they figured that out in the sequoia because everything is either blacked out or a very flat gray here so uh, toyota engineers if you're listening take some uh Take some points here because this is definitely something we want to see and we don't want to have to spend the money later. So there you have it. What do you think? Do you think this vehicle is worth it? Going forward, do you think something like a TRD Pro package on a Sequoia makes sense? That's what we're going to find out all week. I really look forward to test driving this thing. Super pumped up. Uh, let me know what you think. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. That will be the initial question we start this week with. Does the TRD Pro package make sense on a Sequoia? Comment below. Take care. Talk to you soon. Be safe.